Check out my new recipe for a shy steak and Guinness pie as part of a Tastemaker collaboration to celebrate the release of the new Hobbit film. To make this Shire Steak and Guinness Pie recipe, you'll first need to follow my Irish stew recipe, which involves frying up some bacon, onions, carrots, thyme, garlic, and some stewing lamb, then add in some vegetable stock cube and your Guinness, and then cook either on the hob or in the oven in order to reduce the sauce down. And you can go straight to my Irish stew recipe by clicking on the video on screen. Making up a pie can be as easy as reducing down the liquid in a stew recipe. So for something a little bit simpler, you can also use my beef stew for this pie as well. So once you've finished doing your stew and it's got a nice thick sauce, you can start preparing your pastry with a simple prepared pastry mix. Simply follow the instructions on the packet, add the water and then mix it until the dough starts to stick together. Then flour a work surface and begin kneading your dough for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once the dough is fully kneaded and all the mixture is combined, you need to tear off one third and put it aside for the top of the pie. And now we're going to roll out the base. So flour your worktop again and then begin rolling out the other two thirds of your dough. Make sure you keep your worktop floured so the dough doesn't stick. You'll need to roll the pastry out to just under half a centimetre thick and so it's big enough to line the inside of your pie dish. Carefully place your pastry over the top of the pie dish and then with your fingers push the pastry onto the edges. Now we're not going to have enough filling to fill this pie dish so with a sharp knife carefully trim off some pastry so there's just about enough to hold our filling. Again, you need to make sure the sauce in your stew is nice and thick, and once it is, you can begin filling your pie. We're now going to prepare the top of the pie, so roll out your remaining one third of pastry and then place the dish on top, then cut the pastry out into a shape that is slightly larger than the dish. Place the pastry over the filling and then fix it down by running a fork around the rim. And in order for your pie to go golden brown, brush just the yolk of an egg over the pastry. And in celebration of the new Hobbit film, I've cut out my own pastry Middle Earth to put on top. You then need to stick the pie in the oven on 180 degrees for between 30 and 45 minutes until the pie is nice and golden brown. And there you have it, a really tasty Shire Steak and Guinness pie with a taste of Middle Earth. And you can check out more recipes in this Taste Made Hobbit collaboration by clicking on one of the videos coming up.